I don't think that it's possible to strive towards um, living an uh, ethical human life without having tremendous self-doubt. And the history of transatlantic slavery, I think, produces a tremendous amount of self-doubt for many, many, many black people who were born in the Americas, whether they were born in the Caribbean, the US, Canada, or elsewhere. But we do belong in the Americas now. But we came in the belly of the slave ships. And so how do we negotiate that this very complex place and make a claim to it, trying to figure out, it, for lack of a better word now, a new place in this world. A new place in this world that is willing to grapple with at least the twin, if not the, the three inheritances of what it means to be black in the Americas. Europe, First Nations Aboriginal and African. And I think that, you know, in the post-Black Power era, more and more of us are willing to grapple with that nexus of those three inheritances and to, and to try to figure out a sense of a self in which, on the one hand, we can think of ourselves as being Western and modern with a tremendous inheritance from the continent of Africa. And at the same time, we can recognize that our own Westernness, our own modernness, is often not synchronous. It's, it's in disjointed time to, your, to Euro-American modernity and, 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 and Westernness. So it's recognizing that there are overlaps, but that in a sense, the way I often put it to my students in my classes, you know, some of us are the poor cousins of modernity. And we have to figure out how to live with that.